Hey, Jeff here. So I have no uh, new vinyl to show since the last time I did a video, but you know, I realized I've got tons of CDs and collections that I've never shown that are worthy of discussion. Today we're going to be discussing, as the title shows, uh, Dream Theater. I've been a fan ever since around the second or third album, I guess, is where I discovered them and have collected and bought stuff and just been a big fan what we're going to be discussing today is the what they call the official bootleg series mike portnoy the drummer is a big i guess you could say like an audiophile he he collects movies and bootlegs and audio records everything saves everything catalogs everything so around 2003 he started a series called the Dream Theater Official Bootlegs. And what it ended up being was 18 CDs and 4 DVDs over the life of the run of them. Uh, they were released between the years of 2003 and 2009. The reason they stopped in 2009, if you're familiar with the history of Dream Theater, is because he quit the band in 2010. So there was no other releases after that from this series. So what I'm going to be showing is we're going to briefly run through the 18 CDs that were there. And what these tend to be, as you'll see, are a lot of unreleased stuff, some live stuff. Let's just jump right in. The first one is going all the way back to the beginning. The first Dream Theater official bootleg is the Majesty demos. Now, before they were called Dream Theater, they were known as Majesty. They had the, uh, this was them basically uh, when they were in college and they recorded some stuff and had some uh, various demos that came out. And as you can see, you know, all the CDs look about the same. They all have, you know, they all look similar design as far as that you'll see that. So they really fit together nicely when you, when you look at them. All of these releases are released on a label that he's called Yitzy Jam Records. They were at yitzyjam.com. And if you know also the history of that, Yitzy Jam is majesty spelled backwards. So that's the record label. It's Yitzy Jam Records. And so the first one here, number one here, is the Majesty demos from 85 to 86. You've got actually two sets of demos, 17 songs, which are the Berkeley demos from the college days, 85 to 86. And then you have the actual, the actual Majesty demo from 1986, which is a six-song release. Inside the CD, you have some pictures of them back in the day. You've got little story uh, notes behind each song to give you a little clue of what's going on and it's just a nice little package to really have so that you have the entire dream theater collection because you get to get the demos from way back in the early days number two was a live show los angeles california 5 1898 this is a double disc set really nice i, I just love the way he put these out because they're really high quality cds they're not cdrs you know, they're silver CDs, nicely packaged. They all sound great. And you know, when you when you re talk about bootleg recordings, these are not like somebody in this audience holding the microphone. Most of these are very well done. They could almost be live albums. I don't know why they weren't. Maybe they're soundboard recordings. Maybe they're higher quality. I don't know how they're exactly recorded. But this one is a double set from the live show in 1998 in California. 10 songs on one, 13 on the other. It's just a great live show that they have cataloged. And again, inside, we have a little bit of information, pictures for the most part, and just uh, the songs and stuff listed there. Up next with disc three, we got the making of scenes from a memory. This is what you would, you know, the kind of stuff that you hear when you see bonus tracks. It's it's making of. So it, and this is another double disc set. You've got a disc, disc one of the sessions, and disc two is alternate mixes, which is always neat. So these are a different mix and feel for it. And it is, again, like I say, a double, double CD. The liner notes inside have the story behind it and information about each song. And so, yeah, it's just a nice little package here. And again, these are studio outtakes, other remixes, things along that line. Two full discs worth. Coming up next is When Dream and Day Unite. Now, When Dream and Day Unite is their first full-length album. Now, this is before James Labrie was their vocalist. This is their original singer. And so with this, you've got the demos. It's called When Dream and Day Unite, the demos. 
And so you've got actually another two disc set. And it has, uh, CD1 has instrumental demos from 1987 and early charlie demos charlie was a singer 1987 cd2 is a pre-production demos of 1988 and the christmas demos of 1988 so again two discs chocked full of information of songs liner notes again have a little write-up for each song and about the time frame and all of that cool history up next with number five is another live show tokyo japan october of 1995 again another double cd set recorded live again not really bootleggy they all tend to sound really good two cds chock full of a total of 20 songs the booklet again just has some information about the shows at that time some pictures Number six was a special cool deal. Now, back in the day when these guys would tour, they often would do a night with type shows where it's multiple hours of them playing. And other bands have done that. I've heard of other bands doing that where they play just them, no opening bands, and they play for multiple sets in a night. Well, Dream Theater had done that for a while. And so what they started doing, as you'll find in some of these releases, because they, they appear here, is during one of the sets they would come out and play from start to finish one of their favorite albums it would just be them playing somebody else's music and this is one of those situations this is dream theater playing the entire master of puppets album from start to finish just an interesting take of the an entire cover of a, of a band's another band's music and then inside you have a little bit of a background story you have images from the show and it's all in a nice little package. This is a single disc edition, and this was recorded in 2002. Up next, number seven, we have the Images and Words demos. Now, Images and Words is the one that everybody probably has heard of, because this is the first one with James Labrie. This would have been, you know, Pull Me Under. This is a time frame when they started to really be more well-known. And this is the 88, 89 to 91 demos. It is another two-CD set. Again, we've got instrumental demos, we've got audition, vocalist audition demos, we have the ADCO demos, which is a record label, and then we have the pre-production demos, October of 87. So again, we've got 17 songs on two discs. Amazing, just great to have. And again, the booklet, chocked full of information about each song, pictures from the time, and just stories in general. Number eight is another one of those covers albums, and this time around they do Number of the Beast by Iron Maiden in its entirety, all eight songs played by Dream Theater. Again, the booklet is full with some pictures of the time and a brief story, and they just do a great full set of playing all of Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast. Number nine, we're back into uh, when Dream and Day reunite. And what this is, is, okay, so when Dream and Day Unite had the original singer Charlie, this is James Labrie, the singer, the current singer, doing the songs from that album. And this is from a show in 2004, so it is live. And Charlie, the original singer, does come out during the show and sings a couple songs too. So it's really neat to hear the old songs kind of with, you know, revisioned with the new singer, as well as, you know, have the original singer come out and join them. This is one of the ones that also was released on a DVD. So you've got, you can actually see the show as they play these songs and then the original singer comes out and everything. So that was really great. You got the CD, the single CD, and then you've got the DVD version. And again, inside, Lots of photos, some brief history. And they also had uh, Derek Sherinian come out and play keyboards. He was a prior uh, keyboardist uh, for the band. Uh, Jordan Rudis did the rest of them. But anyway, Derek came out and did a couple. Up with number 10 is Awake Demos. Awake is their second album with James Labrie, their third album total. And so this is a really great set of demos from 1994 of what the band sounded like in demo production. 
inside you again have history information about the time frame some pictures from the time frame and song information from that time frame number 11 is another one of their concert series old bridge new jersey from 1996 again a double cd set with 17 songs total another live show inside again there's not a whole lot of information but just some information about that time period and again you know colors change but the actual look and feel is about the same with number 12 we have yet another of the cover series nights where they did dark side of the moon in its entirety this is a double cd set and it has dark side of the moon in its entirety on disc one and then disc two is a saucer full of floyd where they do a bunch of other pink floyd songs echoes one of these days sheep in the flesh run like hell hey you comfortably numb so it's just like a double set of all pink floyd including the uh, dark side of the moon and this one also was released as a dvd now the dvd has uh it has the dark side of the moon and then it's got a couple additional pink floyd covers hey you echoes part one and comfortably numb featuring Queensryche. This is recorded in October of 2005, and so Comfortably Numb comes out, and it's got the members of Queensryche. Live in Spokane, Washington, I see, so makes sense they came out. So you got that one on DVD and a double CD set. Number 13 is New York City, 1993, yet another live concert, another double CD set, another great sounding release. And again, inside, you ba basically have some photos from the time frame. Number 14, we have Falling Into Infinity Demos, another one of their albums, full albums. And this is a double CD set again. And it is just, it's full. It's got the demos, but it also has like a, some live tracks like uh, Metropolis 2 uh, live re rehearsal version. So it's just time frame material from that zone when they were recording these things and Falling Into Infinity, the 96, 97 demos is just, again, full two CD set inside again song information i mean information about the time long story there we've got information about a lot of the songs individually and things along that line just insights as they recorded that uh, are being brought out in the notes here this number 15 yet another one of the covers of uh full albums this time around they did made in japan so they did a live cover album of a live album. This is a seven track, uh, and it's just loaded. I mean, these songs are eight to 19 minutes. Space Trucking is 19 minutes long. It is just a great show by a great band playing a great show by a great band. They say one of the best live albums around, made in Japan. Inside, we get a little more for this one. We get a lot of information, a lot more, a, a lot more of a story. Uh, we've got some information from Roger Glover. We've got some photos from the time recorded in 2006. Mixed and mastered by Roger Glover of Deep Purple. Number 16, The Making of Falling into Infinity. <clears throat> okay, so in this case we've got, it's one CD set, bunch of songs, a bunch of things like vocal overdubs and pieces and parts. So this is one of those ones where you just get to hear a little bit of an insight of what things were going on when they were recording this album. Not so much demos, but more like studio outtakes and pieces and parts to kind of give you uh, a, a look at how they do things in the studio uh, recorded in the summer of 1997. Inside the booklet is just some pictures from inside the, the studio. No additional notes. Number 17, Train of Thought instrumental demos train of thought one of their heavier albums uh people kind of compare it to the metallica black album where they kind of went with a you know heavy but yet melodic album um it's kind of black some of the songs have that same kind of a heavy feel so anyway this is the instrumental demo take seven tracks here inside we've got a little story from mike and we've got just a couple pictures there and number 18 the last one that was released is basically them doing cover tunes recorded from 2003 to 2005. As you can see, there's a bunch of bands represented. Um, so we've got stuff from 
The Who and Kansas and Ozzy and Queen and Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and Journey and Pantera and Yes. So it is 10 songs from a bunch of different bands. And a lot of times they would do that in concert. They'd play a song or two. Even if that's not one of those nights where they play the entire album, they occasionally throw in um, a, some kind of a cover tune. So here they've compiled a bunch of those. And if you pick up, you know, they have these on the album. Sometimes when you get the deluxe edition of some of their albums, the second discs may have cover tunes that they've recorded in the studio. And you'll find, like I say, on live albums they do that. So they've compiled a bunch of them here of some of the ones that they've done over the years. Now, aside from that, there have been two other DVDs. These are mainly concerts. Bucharest, Romania, 7402. And it is a, a live DVD, but it's also got extra songs on it from Mexico City, March of 2002, uh, Bulgarian TV documentary from July, and the Nine Degrees of Backstage Turbulence. So they have just a bunch of stuff from that tour. And so that's a great DVD that came out. And then the second, the last DVD is Santiago, Chile. December 2005 and this includes uh, both of the sets they played and the encores and so that is it that is the series of the Yitzi Jam Records official bootlegs released by Dream Theater drummer Mike Portnoy from 2003 till 2009 this is a great series I'm glad to have picked them up as they came out because they're kind of tough to get now anyway thanks for watching rock on <laughs>